Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to my One Sheet Wonder episode. This is probably the biggest episode I have ever done <laughs> in a video class. I have um, been stamping this week doing One Sheet Wonders and I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to make cards. I'm gonna do 14 cards right here in minutes with one set but um, I've made a bunch of other sets to show you different ideas. And this is especially good technique to use right now if you're running late with your holiday cards. If you're short on time, running late, this is a great, great way to make your holiday cards. So uh, lots of uses for One Sheet Wonders. They're super easy, super fun, and you only need the basics of supplies. Now, like I said, <laughs> I've been busy. I made I made over 140 cards this, just, this, just in a couple of days getting ready for this episode. And so they are all around me. <laughs> I can't wait to share them with you. But the first thing I thought I would do, tell you a little bit about what's happening in Stamping World, and then we'll actually pop down to the table and um, we're gonna make we're gonna make a one sheet wonder like super fast with uh, the Splendid Day Sweet Paper, which is so cool. So welcome aboard, everybody. It is great to see you. Um, you uh, may be watching live. We I'm broadcasting live on Facebook Live, on Fa on YouTube Live, and on Twitter. You might be watching the replay. Either way, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get all of my classes. I'm doing classes usually once a week, if not more, and uh, lots of good stuff coming. With lots of new products. If you saw our, our uh, haul a couple of days ago, lots of new products coming. So there'll be lots of classes with that. So I have a whole series of One Sheet Wonders coming out this week. I'll share all of these with you today on the video and I'll be uh, sharing instructions for all of them over the, the next week. But I do have instructions for the Splendid Day Suite that we're going to make right here today. And you can get that at stampwithtammy.com or you, to get really easy click on the link in the video's description. YouTube, I think it's below, Facebook above, either or, maybe to the side, anyways. It's in the description of the video. <laughs> click and it'll go bring you right to this page. And the other reason why you're gonna wanna go there, not just for the instructions, but because this is my Stamp It Demonstrator Group's blog hop. And um, that what the blog hop is, is once a week, once a month, uh, my girls in my Stamp It Demonstrator Group with Stampin' Up, we have a Stamp It, our Stamp It is the name of our group, and um, we get together or, and we make projects based on a common theme. So uh, today's theme is Christmas and holidays. So I have Christmas and holidays to share with you guys. And uh, we have a great giveaway. It is a holiday card kit that could be made for other uh, occasions as well. It's called Cozy and Bright. I always have a giveaway, but there are different ways to enter. And to enter the blog hop giveaway, it is free, but you'll want to go over to the blog and drop a comment with the hashtag stamp it contest. So that's how you enter and you can enter multiple times by taking the blog hop tour, super easy. And the, and the projects are amazing. Like these, these girls are so talented. I can't, I love blog hop day. It's one of my favorites right along with paper pumpkin in the mailbox. <laughs> Which also happened yesterday, so it's a good week. It's a really good week. Anywho, you can enter multiple times by uh, leaving a, a comment on each blog with that Stamp It contest. And so uh, that is what's happening. You're not going to want to miss out on that. And with that, I'm going to jump right into our stamping. So this is super easy, simple stamping. Great for beginners. It's great for, I've been doing this for 20 years. And like I said, I made so many, I'm, I'm good to go for the next couple of months. And you can even make these and leave the words off of them. So you can stamp the words later, depending on what occasion pops up, a birthday party, a sympathy card, whatever you need. Or you could just make a bunch of different occasions or holidays, definitely holidays. These are great for the holidays. So I mentioned that um, on my blog, link in the description or just go to stampatami.com and uh, you can download the instructions. I have instructions here, but more important than the instructions for the one sheet wonder is the template. So the template shows you how to cut, and I'm going to show you this as well, how to cut the, the 12 by 12 piece of paper that we're going to use because we're going to make 14 cards out of one piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper and seven I've got seven uh, pieces of a shimmery. I'm, I'm using shimmery white for my card bases. And these will cut in half to make the 14 card bases. So this and this is all you need, but don't forget your envelopes, obviously. They're gonna fit into their standard size, medium size envelopes. So I have this for you. You can print it off, the template to print it off to make these. 
And I also have, for every single set that I've made to share with you guys today, a stepped up version. And the stepped up version um, includes a second template to cut your foil or your layer or whatever you're gonna use there. So I am just gonna leave this somewhere where I can see it because I actually need to reference it while I'm cutting. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do, and we are starting right here with the basics. I'm using the Splendid Day Suite. So I'm using the Splendid Day Thoughts uh, stamp set. Everything I'm using is available in my online store and I've uh, YouTube quick links in the video's description or blog quick links there and on the instruction sheet there's quick links. So if there's something you want to, you, you love here that especially the paper, it's gorgeous. Um, you can get them on my uh, blog. And this is seal adhesive, double-sided tape runner right here if you're new. Um, so you'll want that too to attach. So the first thing I'm going to do is my card basis. I'm just going to move my 12 by 12 piece of paper out of the way so I can show you how to do the card basis. So I've got seven sheets of, I'm using shimmery white, and I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer on the video, but it's really cool. So this is a super quick and easy way to make your card bases. Again, if you're doing your holiday cards, this is a great way to go. Decide whether you want to do your 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 card's portrait or lands, uh, landscape opening. So one, you'll cut in half the long way for your portrait opening and the other you'll cut in half this way for your landscape opening. So what I'm going to do mine, um, I'm going to do my portrait. So I, I, I'm turning it the opposite direction that I'm going to cut and I'm going to take the scoring blade and I'm going to score right down the middle of the full sheet of cardstock. And then I'm going to turn it to four and a quarter. This is eight and a half by 11. So four and a quarter is half and I cut it and boom, my two card bases are done. So I'm going to do that with the other six pieces of paper. And then I have seven card bases all cut. And through the magic of video, ba -boom, I've got 14 card bases pre-cut. So the next thing I am going to do, and I'm using my handy dandy paper trimmer for this because that is essential. <laughs> and this is also available in my online store. If you don't have a paper cutter, they you need one. They're awesome. Great for straight cuts. Okay, so this is Splendid Day Paper. Wouldn't this make great wedding, like, Cards, invitations, part. You know, I just think this this particular color and pattern from the Splendor Day, Splendid Day, is a it's a really pretty one. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna make 14 cards. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking the 12 by 12 paper and I'm going by the template. So I'm going by this template. Even if you can't see it, if it's off camera, you you guys, that's what I'm referencing. I'm moving this to five and a half. I'm gonna cut all the way down, and I'm just gonna put this to the side, and we're gonna start with the five and a half. So I'm gonna turn that. My card number one is gonna be five and a half by three inch um, piece of designer series paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach while we go. So I'm gonna attach that to this card and these are gonna be simple. They could be great invitations, note cards, whatever. This is the simple version. Every version of cards that I'm making there's gonna be a simple version and there's gonna be a stepped up version. And I'm dying to show you guys all of them. <laughs> so then you're gonna take your stamp, whatever stamp you want, and you're gonna stamp the words. And I probably should have put that up a little bit higher. Yep, I barely have enough for the words, but that's okay. You get the point, right? So then you're gonna stamp your words and card number one is done. All right, so then we're gonna keep going. This is, this is the beauty of the one sheet wonder. So card uh, number two, it is actually, um, it's a one inch strip. And if you want, you can cut it down. I have um, on there to cut it down in half and then you can add a piece of paper for this one. Let's just go ahead and put it on here as just a little adornment, a little decoration because this, especially the Splendid Day foils, they're so pretty. And then we'll stamp our words and card number two is done. And then card number three, oops, let's make sure you guys can see the paper cutter. We're gonna go ahead and cut this at three inches and then I'm gonna turn it. So I've got a three inch piece and then a three by two and a half inch piece. So this is gonna be cards three and four. And you can do them any way you like. You can you can, you can can put the square. I'm gonna do it diagonal because I think that adds a little something to it. And then stamp your words and you're done. And then with this one, I'm gonna make it this way. I'm gonna put it over here on the side or you could cut this up. If you wanted to cut little strips out of it and make three strips instead of a solid, stamp our words and boom, we're done. So bringing this back in, this way, I'm gonna cut two inches. We're already on cards five and six of 14. 
So I've got a two inch strip here. We're gonna put that on the top. And for those of you just popping in, we are doing one sheet wonders today. I'm showing you how quick and easy it is to make a bunch of cards. And I cut that wrong, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep going because it really doesn't matter. So the next one we've got, I'm gonna cut that at three inches. This is six. Now, if you cut them right, you won't have a heck of a lot left over. I'm gonna put this one this way. If you cut them wrong, it really is okay. You can just kind of improvise. So I'll stamp, I'll stamp my words here. Maybe I'm gonna stamp some words here. And again, you can leave them and then stamp them later. So we're going on to card seven where I'm gonna pull in. This is the, the second half of the 12 by 12 that I cut earlier. I'm gonna put it into the paper cutter now at five and a quarter. I'm gonna put this strip aside because we're coming back to that. And then I'm turning this to two and a half. And I know if you're co coming in late, you're probably like, oh my God, she's going so fast. I can't, I can't keep up. You don't need to. I have got a template for you that tells you all of this. I really just want to show you how quick and easy it is to do these. And again, perfect for when you are uh, doing your holiday cards, just get some cute holiday designer series paper and go to town. I mean, 14 cards out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper is amazing, right? You probably want to have a lot of adhesive. So I'd probably stamp words right here. I'm going to cut now. I'm already at cards nine and 10. That's how quickly, that's how quickly these go. So if you're just popping in now, you're like, holy crap, she's almost done. It's true. You'll want to rewind. Okay. So cards nine and 10, I did something fun with. Okay. So this is five and a quarter by four inches and, and, and you could attach it like the other ones, or you can have a little fun with it. I'm going to put it diagonal. So corner to corner in this uh, little in the groove there of the, the trimmer and boom. So nine and 10 now have fun diagonals, which you can also do, oops, you can do them like this. You could do it like this. You could do one of each. So we're gonna put a little, make sure you get the adhesive on the corners of that when you do that. And bada boom. And then maybe some words down here. I know, isn't it beautiful DSP, Nancy? I, I love this is splendid day that I'm using right now, but I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna show you so, <laughs> you guys are gonna, your head's gonna be spinning when I leave. So I'll do this one a different orientation just to kind of show it differently. So those are cards nine and 10. And then let's see, we'll cut this at four inch mark, which is already at four inches, so three. And then for card 12, we've got two and a quarter, and that's pretty much it. So these two, 12, 13, oh my gosh, we're like, seriously, how many minutes am I at now? Like eight, <laughs> and I'm already at card. That one was 11, this one is 12. Again, I would stamp the words as I go, but you get you guys get the point, right? So easy, so, so easy to do. Okay, now this last little strip, no waste, no waste. These, we're gonna make two cards out of this one. We're gonna make 13 and 14 out of this one. And so I'm gonna cut two four inch strips and one three and three quarter inch strip. So I got a tiny little bit, just a tiny little bit of waste. That's like nothing, right? Okay, so this one, we're gonna go here, we'll make it go this way. And then with these two, these two from my, that card number 14, boom, done, 14 cards in like less than 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. Holy moly, right? So I'm gonna line those up. We're gonna stamp on the inside and then we're gonna stamp something there. We've just made 14 cards out of Seven sheets of cardstock and one 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. And bada bing, bada boom. Are you ready for this? Okay. Through the magic of video. And I did a different, this is the same designer series paper collection, but I did a different um, pattern. And this one, the, this is the pattern I used from the Splendid Day. I don't have any left. So that's the pattern I used. I cut up this piece of 12 by 12 paper, exactly the same as what I just did and used uh, soft sea foam and boom. All right, so <laughs> isn't the paper beautiful, right? And you can do any of the, any fun papers with this. 
So this one is Splendid Thought stamp set, and then I, I stamped a little bit of adornment from the stamp set on the sides. And this is the simple version. So simple, seven sheets of cardstock, one piece of designer series paper, and you get all of this. But wait, but wait, okay, the exact same cards. Oh, one just fell on the floor. I thought it was doing so well. The exact same card stepped up. So remember I said I had a stepped up um, template? Let's, there. now you can see them all. Okay, so with the stepped up template, I took, and, and with all the other ones, I took foil. But with this one, I actually used shimmer white. So I did this on petal white, petal pink, and I used shimmer white. So this is the layers for the stepped up version. And I used a different color of the Splendid Day paper for this right right so isn't it gorgeous and so easy so 14 cards boom minutes this one just had a couple of layers and i added some ribbon and some of the um those open leaf trinkets and then you've got and i want to show you so you i see how i i did like a single cut a single cut for card number four i've got them labeled here card number four and then on this one i cut it into three just to give it a little pow Right, so this one, same thing, just a little layer there. Same thing, same thing. And then even if I pull it to the side, you can see card number five here, same card, same thing, just boom, stepped up. So easy, so easy. So this is one, they're, they both one sheet of design a series paper. One sheet of design, these are the same, same collection, just different colors that I used on them. So this was the simple. Simple, easy, like I just literally just made these in less than 10 minutes and stepped up version. Beautiful. Okay, so this is Splendid Day. So this was the first one. And this is 28 cards, right? 28 cards right here. <laughs> and if you're popping in late, let me just show you what I made a couple of um, templates here for you guys. Just to show you. Um, just move everything out of the way. So I pre-cut this, this here just to show you the, the cuts. So these are the, the cuts for the 14 cards. If you took the template and cut it, this is this template right here, cut. Now all of the other, um, all of the other um, one sheet wonders that I'm gonna share with you were done, were layered on foil. So I cut these and then I layered them on the foil. So these cuts are the second side of my template. And you can download this free PDF template at stampwithtammy.com. The address is right there. But really, if you don't want to, if you <laughs> if you don't want to like go into the URL and type all that in, no matter where you're watching this, there's a link in the video's description that will bring you directly to this page. The replay of this video will be on it, so you'll be able to see everything. And again, so easy, perfect for your holiday cards right now, especially that's what I was thinking when I was originally doing it, holiday cards, but I just wanted to show the Splendid Day paper is just gorgeous. So this was the Splendid Day suite that we just used that I'm sharing right now. I just used, shared a couple of different patterns with it. All right, so this is the One Sheet Wonder, 14 cards out of one piece of 12 by 12. And then this one is foil to layer it on for the stepped up version. Again, one piece of 12 by 12 foil layers all of these cards. Okay, are you ready for this? All right, so bear with me because there's a lot of cards coming <laughs> and it's gonna take me a minute to move them into move them into view. All right, so I just shared with you the Splendid Day. So the next one we're gonna do is the um, Santa Express. Now the Santa Express, I have an entire, um, an entire collection, a series of Santa Express ideas on my blog. And I'll link to that when I, when I share this one, um, when I get, I'll have directions for this one coming up this week and I'll link to the series of Santa Express. Now, these were the simple version. I took one piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper and I used the cute little stamp set for the words and I made all of these cards, right? Diane says, what do you do for the inside? Whatever you want for the inside. You can put pictures on the inside. You can stamp words on the inside. You can write your, your greeting on the inside. You can put your Christmas letter on the inside. Anything you want. These are uh, standard playing cards. So whatever you want inside there, whatever you're making them for, you might want to leave them blank if you want them for general all occasion. If they're holiday cards, you might want to put a photo in there. You might want to write, put your newsletter, Christmas, whatever. Okay, so Santa's... Uh, 
Santa's delivery stamp set for the words on this one and one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so that's the simple, the simple version. And then if you flip that designer series paper over and add for the stepped up version, some copper foil, copper, right? Because it's beautiful and we love copper. Are you ready for this? Bada bang, bada boom. Same, same paper, just flipped over and I did it on evening evergreen cardstock and I embossed the words on these with the copper foil to match the copper of the uh, layer that I put on there. So designer series paper, one sheet, copper foil, one sheet. I'll cut by the, uh, I'll cut by the um, templates that I have for you. And then I'm going to just pull it down so you can see. So these are one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. But I did something a little right. I changed the orientation of this one, same cuts, just changed the orientation. And then this one, same thing, changed the orientation. And I added a little piece of white to the front of that one. This one, I did a diamond here. I did it as a square and layered it on the copper here. I cut that into thirds again, just change the orientation. And then if I pull it over to the side a little bit, so you can see some of the other differences and I will have photos coming for all of these. <laughs> Thanks. I'm <laughs> glad you guys like this one. I was showing the fam, you know, them as I was, cause I, I mean, my house was covered in cards, right? I, I made 140 this week. <laughs> And they were all like, this one was ranked one. Of, I want to hear your favorites, but this was ranked one of their favorites. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for me to decide a favorite, but it's right up there. So again, this was the plane. That was the stepped up. That was for Santa Express. One Cheat Wonders will be coming this week. The next one again. Oh, wait, wait. Before I go into Bows of Holly, before I move along, I did mention that I had, um, I had a whole collection of the Santa's delivery. So I made, somebody asked about what to put it inside. I made photo cards with them with that. This is the same collection of designer series paper. So you could put photos on the inside. Whoops. Sorry. I used, uh, I used adhesive to attach these for a different thing. So that's just, this is a, a little box. I have a tutorial for this. I have a video for how to make these on my blog as well. This was done with Santa express. And then, um, this is a little pop-up center pop-up done with the same paper, same Santa Express paper. This one uses the all bundled up stamp set, but the same paper. So this is the same exact designer paper that I used here on the, on the simple cards. And then we've got, I did a pinwheel tout. Everything I'm showing you right now, I have instructions for on the blog. So I, they're all Santa Express. You can even type that into the search bar if you, want to look for any of these. And then this one didn't use designer paper, but I just wanted to share it because I love this card. It's a step pop-up card used. To, I use the Santa, the Santa's train, Santa's delivery stamp set. And for the, for the stepped up version of the Santa's delivery, I added for words, the framed and festive. This is in the new fitting florets. And so I use these for the words on that one. So I brought out a couple of other things that I, um, use the fitting florets words on because it's a really, really pretty font. So these are just different designer series paper, but you could also do one sheet wonders with that fitting florets designer series paper while it's still available. And then an accordion fold, but I really just wanted to show the stamp set I used the words on. And then this was a kit that I just did. It was a slimline shaker cards that I did for holiday cards. And I used the same fitting florets for that. So that was the Santa's delivery. And I might even pop back because I meant to show you these in the beginning and I got so excited. I totally put cardstock over them and forgot to share. Um, this was the original, um, share that I had here. That was the, the original one sheet wonder that I just cut up and made. I use this paper. It's the, um, Splendid Day Designer Series paper. And I made these, uh, using the Stampin' Up Cracker Party Die. Instructions are on my blog for everything I'm showing here. And then I shared this with the Santa Express and here they come again. The center pop-up done with the Splendid Day. Same exact designer series paper. And um, Mary's coming in late. How do you get the templates? They're on my blog, stampatami.com. Link is in the video description. 
So either way, you can type it in or you can just go to the easy button in the, in the description and the templates are there. And um, instructions for everything I'm sharing with you will be linked. Like these, these projects are linked in today's post because I have the instructions for Splendid Day. But as I write the rest of the instructions, I'll link their coordinating projects. And the other thing with this is you can see how to coordinate your envelopes. So you can coordinate your envelopes in there with all that. So that was Splendid Day. Next up, we're going to do Bows of Holly. And that one just makes you want to sing, doesn't it? Deck the halls with bows of holly. Fa la 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 la. Okay, I know you guys don't want me to sing. <laughs> I won't. I won't subject you to that any longer. All right. So this is a beautiful one, and Linda and I just did a, a stamp and scoop last month on bows of holly, and I shared a ton, a ton. I have an entire series of bows of holly projects, and I'll show you some in a minute. But the first thing I wanted to share is my one sheet wonder, 14 cards. And these were all made, these are the simple version, the simple version of the card, all made with this sheet of designer series paper from the Bows of Holly pack. So I took that template, cut it all up and made these exactly like I made the ones in the first, in the beginning of the, in the beginning of the video. And then the words on this one are from the Christmas banner. And this is from the same Bows of Holly suite, the Christmas banner stamp set okay so then i took this from the same designer series paper i took this sheet and some distressed gold this is from the um distressed gold is it's in the annual catalog stampin up so it's in my online store and i uh used this is a beautiful stamp set with words i used the words from the hope and peace stamp set are you ready for this for the stepped up version here it comes All right, 14 cards, all made exactly the same. It's the same, the same um, collection of papers. And then um, I just stepped it up with the, so on that, on that template that you can download on my blog, which I've thrown around now and I can't even find it anymore, but I have the two templates. So this is the, the, the plain one sheet wonder and then I have a template for the stepped up foil. So then you can cut that. So one sheet of foil, one sheet of cardstock and 12 card bases. And I did add some um, vanilla to these to, to spruce up the stepped up version. Okay, so that is the Bows of Holly version. Again, I wanna hear favorites. I wanna hear favorites. Oh, you know what, before I before I move on, let me just, I like to, I like to be able to share with you guys, kind of see them together. So plain version stepped up change the orientation plain version stepped up plain version stepped up just so you guys get an idea of the you know they're so pretty they're pretty plain and then when you step them up they are just wows right they just go from 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 awesome to wow in like seconds and for those of you who missed the beginning of this you definitely want to go back and check it out I literally just made 14 cards in less than 10 minutes. And that's the beauty of the one sheet wonders that and the fact that they're amazing. Okay. So that was the bows of Holly suite. And again, I have a, a ton more to share with that before I, before I head on, I have those cute little uh, treat boxes. These are great for your little holiday treats. This is made with the same designer series paper from the bows of Holly. And Linda and I made this box on the last or, or two Stampin' Scoops ago, I think, or th with the Bows of Holly Suite. This is a, it fits cards. You put your cards inside and some card ideas with that same Bows of Holly. So we've got, these are some plain ones here. This is from my series. So I will have instructions on all of these on my blog as well of Bows of Holly. And then, so those are just Clean. We've got our little things. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, these I posted instructions for yesterday for these. These are the um, angled gatefold Bows of Holly cards. So you can make coordinating projects. And then this is the accordion folds with that same Bows of Holly designer series paper. And this one's the same exact pattern even that I just shared for the stepped up version, same pattern and everything. And then photo cards. I made photo cards with it as well. This, these are actually um, fun fold 
photo cards. This one is an easel photo card made with that same pattern. So more ideas and then the window, window photo card with the window <laughs> wishes. Oh, the sweet, the Battles of Holly suite is beautiful. And then the last two here are arrow gatefold cards made with the Bows of Holly, even the same exact pattern there. All right, so that's Bows of Holly. So next up, I played with the Snowflake Vellum. If you guys have not seen the Snowflake Vellum, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Well, if you haven't seen it, you're gonna see it now. So this one might be my favorite. I, you know, like I said, it's really hard to pick a favorite. And so I, this one's definitely up there. Bear with me because uh, when you have 140 cards laying around, it's really hard to move them around. <laughs> All right, so the first set, you ready for this? This, and these are, this is the plain set that I'm gonna show first. The plain set right here. This is Snowflake Vellum. Let me show it to you. I use the, on both Stepped Up and um, the plain ones that I'm sharing right now, I use the Brightest Glow stamp set and this iridescent silver foil. One sheet of foil made all 14 of these cards. All, and, I, and I labeled them again so you can see the cuts on the template, share the, I wish I had it handy, but I, you know what, you can see it here. On the template, I have all the cuts, they're all numbered and on these, I numbered them too, just so you can kind of see where all the cuts go. Okay, then I took one sheet of silver foil and cut this. Ba bing, ba da boom, are you ready? On your mark, get set. What? Yeah, so I don't know. I think this one's my favorite, but sometimes it changes. <laughs> so this is the stepped up version. Same exact cards, right? I used shimmer white on these because I thought that really gave it a little extra something. And I just want to straighten that because my OCD was getting a little nutty on me. Went crooked. And I'm just going to pull it down so you can see. So same, stepped up. Plain, stepped up. And this one, I cut two strips and put um, a piece of paper on top of it. This one, I didn't cut it. I just left it as a one inch strip. Then here, stepped up. And then this one I cut into thirds for the stepped up version. And I do have that information on the stepped up template too. So you can cut if you want to or leave it plain if you don't. So just to give you an idea of the, the stepped up versions, what do you guys think of the snowflake vellum ones? And then I'm just going to pull them to the side so you can kind of see some of the other ones, like nine, cards 9 and 10 here. Oh, love it. Plain, stepped up. Plain, stepped up. And I have a couple of other projects from the Snowflake Vellum to share with you guys. Just to share some other ideas that you can do. Yeah, Karen says that one's her favorite too. I, I'm up there, but I don't know. As I show you the other ones, your favorites might change too. So here is those poppers. I'm loving the poppers, right? I have a whole series on poppers on how to make these cra crackers. And this particular set, they come apart. So cute. You put your little treats in there. So this is all made with that same snowflake vellum. Get your snowflake vellum now before it sells out. <laughs> and I made, I made the box out of the, out of the uh, silver foil. And then these are photo cards. And this is like a window photo card that I made with the snowflake vellum too. So if you're looking for ideas, I have instructions for this. I might look at, I made shaker cards, shaker photo cards. How fun is that? We really want something fun. And then there's just another one using the snowflake vellum. So those are just some more ideas using the snowflake vellum and uh, the bows of, I'm sorry, the brightest glow stamp set is what I used on that one. And so our next one is and this is the last one. This is the last one. I made five. This one is the uh, a wash in beauty. So this is in the annual catalog, and I made some holiday and some not holiday, so you can you know see them used for all different occasions. Even though it is a holiday blog talk that we are doing. Okay, you ready for this one? Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, this is the plain one sheet of twelve by twelve paper. And uh, we've got the four, so 14 cards. 
out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, exactly like I cut in the beginning. And Donna, um, about the poppers, go check out my popper series. I have a whole video on them. And I have, I think I forget how, tons and tons of different ideas. They all go great on your Thanksgiving table. You can fit candy treats and lots of little things, lots of little things in there. All right. So anyways, back to the Awash with Beauty. What? Yep. So these are the plain version. I took one piece of, so the 12 by 12 paper and do I have the stamp set around here? And so I used the True Beauty, which is also part of the um, a wash with Beauty Suite, but you can purchase them all individually. That's great. That was what I was going for. Stretching your supplies. Yes, making them good. Go nanny. She's like, the tips are great because it's giving her ideas to stretch out her supplies. But I mean, 14 cards out of one piece of paper. That's just amazing, right? Okay, so that's the plain version of a wash and beauty. Now this is the stepped up version now with the stepped up version and i apologize because i ran out of a full sheet of 12 by 12 of this so this is the pattern that i used from the same same pack and then rose gold did you guys know that we had rose gold foil in my online store we do and it's pretty flipping awesome omg okay so put that all together and the stepped up version, oh, number five, you need to stay on there. The stepped up version looks like this. How amazing is that rose gold foil? I am in love with it. Sorry, it's bothering me when they're not straight. Absolutely in love with it. It is gorgeous with some rich razzleberry and the designer series paper. And I just, I, I love this one too. I love them all. I do. I love them all. I really have been having a lot of fun. So 14 cards here stepped up and I'm just going to pull it down so you guys can see the the comparison between the, the plain and then stepped up. So plain stepped up. And then I cut these out of the designer series. The designer series paper actually has flowers that you can, you can cut out if you wanted to. So plain stepped up, plain stepped up. I cut that one. So you guys can get an idea and then Maybe I'll pull this one this way so you can see some of these ideas. So plain, stepped up, plain, stepped up. So you can see how easy it is just to, just to, to, you know, some simple, just some simple things here. Really, uh, it, it makes a wow, right? Every single one of the stepped up versions are wows and they are so, so easy to do. <laughs> when he says she can't decide i know right it's killing me too so this is the awashed with beauty so this was the fifth one this was my last my last one to share but wait 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 it's not i do have a few more um ideas to share and these were from the awash with beauty suite this is a card box that i made for this was a kit that i did i did an awash with beauty kit earlier in the year and then i've got a couple of cards that I made with it. Here's that distressed gold that I used on the last one. Well, Sue, I hope you, I've inspired you to do One Sheet Wonders because that is, she says she hasn't done one in years, but oh my gosh, right? They're amazing techniques. And right now when you're, you know, Thanksgiving's coming and you're like, oh my gosh, the holidays are almost here. I haven't started my cards. These are a great, great way to do your cards. I've got little coordinate envelopes for them. And then here I've got that angled gatefold done with the designer series paper here. Some cute little, and I do have instructions for the angled gatefold. Okay. And that, my friends, <laughs> whew, <laughs> that was a lot, right? It's been barely a half an hour. It's been a little over a half an hour. We made 14 cards. I shared over 140 and that didn't count the extras. Everyone had at least five to 10 extras, right? And so, well, maybe not 10, maybe a little bit less, but even that, that was five, that's another. So that's over 165 to 170 projects I just shared. <laughs> Woo! I hope you have found some inspiration in there. Be sure to pop on over my, my blog for two reasons. One, you're going to want to download the PDF that has that template that I made for you. The template has both um, the regular cuts for the for the, the standard basic um one sheet wonder 
And it has the stepped up cuts for your layering one sheet wonder. So you're going to want to download that. And also you're going to want to check out my Stampin' Demonstrator groups, uh, b the blog hop projects and their, uh, their Christmas theme. So if you want to get in the mood, this is a great way to do it. And you can enter to win our uh, contest there as well. So thank you guys all so much for joining me on this Saturday morning or whenever you happen to be joining me. It may not be, <laughs> it may not be Saturday morning. It could be Sunday night by the time you join me or it could be Monday or Tuesday. Whenever you're joining me, I hope you have enjoyed this, this episode. Can you see everything behind me? <laughs> it's all over. I can't even move. They're all over. So many projects. I've had a lot of fun making these for you guys. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving that is coming up this week. Or maybe you had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're watching the replay later. And a great week. Thank you so much for joining me.